There we go. We're live. Hey everybody, welcome back for more D&D Plus 3. Hey. For this episode, we only have three people, so we counted correctly. We have hey, Sam. Hey, how's everybody going? We have Greg. Woohoo! And we have Dan. Hello. And also myself. So, technically we have four people, but I don't count. So, when we last left off, the, the heroes had just finished the floor they had been on. So now they've uh, rested up and begun their descent to the third f floor of the bay or the dungeon. Right. So, does anyone have any preparations they'd like to make before going down? Or we rested, right? Well, yep. I think the assumption that we rested and we've all updated our character sheets for, for level four ascension. Uh, okay. I think we're good. Okay. As you begin your descent down. Uh, the sound of picks and shovels hammering into rock echoes up the the shaft uh, that you have to head down. Uh, as the floor of the the shaft, uh, hold on. Uh, as you come down to the the floor, you see uh, an abandoned mines, and you you come out into a room uh, 15 feet by 20 feet, containing some broken stone, a light covering of silvery dust, and six beings that slowly move around the room. Four of these beings... Uh, no, they are not. Four of these beings look like human corpses with pale flesh hanging from their bodies. And the other two beings look like large badgers that have been heavily damaged. As you finally touch down to the floor, the beings slowly turn to you regard, to regard you with sunken, glowing... Why is my iPod beeping at me? Oh, sorry, that's my fault. Ah. Ignore me. <laughs> uh, turn... <laughs> and to regard you with sunken, glowing red eyes and their rotting faces. Intruders, they say in a raspy, grasping voice as they begin to shamble towards you. And now I get to move tokens over. Did you move? I thought you already did. <laughs> uh, the actual zombie tokens. The uh, Zambies. I, I hear you FTL. Neil, Greddy, and Alex? Hmm? Neil, Greddy, and Alex? Oh, those ones. Yep. Yeah. So where are the three then they're already there? The three that are already there are uh, Dan Skeletons. Uh -huh. What well, were they doing while we were in town? Um, you probably had them hanging out here. Yeah. They just sort of blend in. Yep. Yeah, there is a very... You can arrange yourself however you would like. Um, I would probably suggest the wizard not be in front. The wizard should always be in front. Nah, yeah. New strategy, melee wizard. Battle mage. Oh wait, no, that's a clear. Okay. All right. I'm gonna be awake for this. I'm gonna be awake for this. I'm gonna be awake for this. Um, what are you doing? Neil had your back. Ah, uh, yes. The the members of Rush having your back. <laughs> no, Bogolf is up first. What? Oh, I was like, well then, since uh, Pripyat seems to have the upper right and uh, Kermot seems to have taken the south, I guess I uh, can I take a five foot step this way without provoking an attack of opportunity. Yep, you could even just walk over there, because this is the first round of combat. Oh wait, first round, so... No, but I don't get my sneak attack though, right? Nope, because these are zombies. Alright, so we're nice. Right, so... I really need to print out my character sheets, so I don't keep switching. Either that, or I'll buy, probably buy that two video cards my desktop, I got two monitors again. Um... Now to find a piece of paper, and a pen. Here. One of these Wait. is easier to find than the other. Wait, zombies. Wait, are these? Can I tell if these are still the same crappy zombies that were before? Oh uh, yes, they do appear to be just as crappy zombies as the other ones. I just want to make sure I I can use my rapier and not switch my mace. Yep. Okay, so. Blah, 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 blah. All 
All right, which one are you going to hit? Uh, let's go for one above me. All right. Uh, 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 that will hit? Oh, wow, okay. I'll take it. Well, these zombies do not appear to be armored in any way. Okay. You do significant damage with that hit. Alex is up. Alright. Alex is going to go ahead and shoot this dude right here. Okay. He will miss, sadly. Alright. One of the zombies is up. This one right here will attempt to swing its shovel at you. Hitting for minimum possible damage. Wait, who's against you? who? Uh, Greg. Oh. Wait. Why, why did he that? Oh, he created. Okay. Oh, hey, that ought to advance the initiative. That's interesting. And mm -hmm. the other one that has... Well, there's one more that's got a quick action... And he will miss Greg with his shovel. Now the wizard's up. Wait, wait, so... Okay. Hold on a second. Sorry, I just... I got confused when I saw the attempt to multiply on both of them. This zombie is the one that hit you with the 19. Okay. And All this right. one is the one that missed horribly. Okay. I just showed the attempt to multiply for both, so I was a little bit confused. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that, that's just a reminder for me. Oh. Okay. Um... Uh... So, I just need to damage. Yep. Drovar uh, fires off a acidic splatter at the zombie on the other side of Neil. Okay. That will hit. Suddenly I've forgotten the damage roll for that just a second. It's 2d6, I think? Pretty sure. Okay. You dissolve some of its flesh meats. Neil is up. Okay, all right. I don't think Neil has a... No, he doesn't have any equipment, so he's just going to claw this guy in front of him. Okay. It's Sadly, those will miss. Uh, uh, Getty is up. And he's going to attack with a longsword. Okay. That will hit. Okay. He's attacking this dude, by the way. Okay. Noted. Now the zombies are up. Alright, this one up here at the top will attempt to hit you with the shovel, Greg. Missing horribly. Uh, need to buy more for this. The zombie that's been hit with the acid splash will attempt to shovel the uh, or shovel into Neil. Hitting. And it looks like destroying Neil. No. Wait, Wait. not Neil. Is Neil the wizard or the the skeleton? Uh, oh. State actually dead. Oh no! I haven't forbid. And he's already dead, so I can't reanimate him. Nope. And the other one will attempt to smack Getty. Missing horribly. Pripyat, you are up. All right. Just a quick question here. Can I, uh, can I draw a spell from, um, Book of Vile Darkness? Uh, is it a clerical spell of a level you can cast? Yep. Uh, and what is the spell? Uh, if I'm looking at this right. Uh, Dance of Ruin. Uh, let me quick find Dance of Ruin. D&D, &D, 3X books, Book of Vile Darkness. Actually, no. you know what, I'm, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold off on that, because these zombies... Uh, are... Dan, that would kill everybody in the room. What's, what's the radius on that? It's a, uh... Oh, geez, that's like 35 feet. Yes, and it that affects all non-demon creatures, not just enemies. 
Does it affect me? Yes, you are not a demon. Yeah. Wow, that sucks. Well, screw that. Uh, new plan. Just gonna whack this dude. Okay. Oh. I don't have my uh, macro set up. How do I have it set up for the zomb for uh, the skeletons, but not for myself? I don't know. This tech one is three. That will hit. One D eight plus uh, plus strength modifier. I don't want. Okay, and you hit the one directly in front of you? No, I hit um this one here that Getty was attacking. Okay. Alright. Damage is noted. Oh, hey, Pencil, I don't need all of that lead now. Alright. Not the last zombie. Where are... Oh. It's the one in front of Pripyat, who will attempt to hit you with a shovel. And apparently do so successfully. That's eight damage? Yep. Alright. And it is the top of the round for Bogolf. Alright. And every time you say your, I say that name, I want to say Boggle. I'll accept that. Probably will we'll react to it. Alright, uh, so it was the one above me I hit last time, right? Yep. Alright, so I'll just... Yeah. Ah. That will sadly miss. Alright, uh, before we go on, can I just ask a quick question? Uh, where's the window where I write the macros again? Um, it is the selection window. Oh, hi. Yep. And then in the little uh, macro grouping thing, you can right, right click. Edit macro. Yep. And I right click on that to hit edit macro. All right, Alex is up. All right. Second verse, same as the first. Okay. That it, will it, hit. It, and that will do damage. There. That will be enough to destroy it. <coughs> Yet another zombie gone. Alright, this zombie up here in the corner will attempt to hit Greg with a shovel. Missing horribly. Uh, the one yep. to his right will also attempt to hit him with a shovel. That one potentially hitting. Good uh, lord, zombies. What's the hitting? What's the... Oh, 18? Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Alright. And... So that's 7 damage? Yep. Kurovar is up. Alright. Kurovar, uh... Well, I guess he's going to have to step forward one. And, uh... Blast a, uh, an orb of acid at the next... Closest zombie. Okay. No longer gonna have that melee penalty. That will hit. Okay. Noted. Getty is up. Alright. He's whacking this dude with his sword. Okay. Damn it. That, that will sadly miss. Poor Getty. The one at the top and pinned into the corner, sort of. We'll try and hit you, Greg, with the shovel. Missing horribly. Yes, indeed. And the one that's fighting Getty will attempt to fight him again. Missing. Again. Pripyat is up. Alright. I'm gonna try to whack the same thing Getty just tried to attack. Okay. Yeah, that will miss, sadly. And the last zombie... will stand where he is and attempt to hit Pripyat. Oops. Mm. That will hit for seven points of damage. I'm fairly certain. Yep. Alright, Bogolf, you're up. 
Awesome. Uh, it's a good, good chance to do a little test. So, all right, that dude I attacked and did damage shoot before, as always. I'll try this again. Let's see if this magical works. Yep, it did. Woohoo! Alright, I haven't run the one though for damage, I'll probably have to do that anyway. Four damage to that guy. Okay. What have I ever done six damage to? That's ten now? Yep. He's still alive? Just barely. Uh, Alex is up. From old buggers. Okay, he's gonna shoot this zombie. Okay. And noted. That will be enough to kill it. Let me quick remove it from the initiative count. Uh, zombie 30. Will 5 foot... Er, oh wait, you're a zombie. You only get a partial action. You will shamble over here. Zombies in partial actions. Um, the one next to Greg will attempt to hit him with a shovel again. Nope. And Kiravar. All right. <coughs> Smelt that zombie again. Okay. Noted. Uh, Getty. Actually, a uh, five foot step back, by the way. Okay. Yeah, he's attacking this dude. Okay. That will hit, and that will do a significant amount of damage. Uh, let's see. This zombie up here will attempt to hit Greg with a shovel. Swing at a miss. Can't touch me, can't touch me. And the... The one that's fighting Getty will still try and fight Getty. And miss horribly. Now Pripyat is up. Do any of you guys have those uh, healing potions? We should have like more than 12 by now. If I remember to get any walls in town, I would have, but uh, I can't forget about that. You guys had found two chests found, with like, them. Yeah, we found oh, like... Oh yeah, I picked up one, didn't I? I picked up a bunch. There were, I think, right. a 10 in total? I remember them at least one set of them being divvied out at some point, and I was supposed to have written it down, and I didn't. Yeah, I was going to see if I could bum one. Yeah, I'm going to need one of those also after this. Well, I guess it's not too bad. I only, I only have 9 points of damage, but I have 24, so... I'm looking at, like, less than 50% health right now. Yeah, you need one of those. Can I have one? Um, I don't think I have one, but... Oh, yeah, I think I, I grabbed one when we found that last chest. Yeah, you have one, sure. Nah. Yeah. What was... How do you do a healing potion? Um, it is a move action, which will provoke an attack of opportunity, but you will heal 1d8 plus 1 points of damage. Could I take you a You could. Step? You could take a 5-foot step back and not... provoke. Okay. Is it 1d8 plus, plus 1? Plus 1. Oh. And it's still three points of damage healed. And bog off the drunkard. Alright. So once more I shall be attempting to hit the poor chap above me here. Wait, mm -hmm. I have the one focus. Silly chat. Yeah, here. So that's okay. what I'm doing, right? So, right. let's see if this new macro works as well as I hope. Yeah. Ooh! Ooh! Let's confirm the crit. Sadly, it is undead. Oh. Uh, sorry to see my <sighs> Sad day. Yeah, At least that is, damage. That is that enough is. to kill it. That's the well, I can see brain, and I realize it's a zombie. I doubt it has yep. one. Alex is up. Alex. Oh, yeah. There you are. I'm going to shoot that one. 
Okay. That will hit. And... Alex is hot tonight. That will actually be enough to kill that one. Okay. The one remaining next to you, Greg, will attempt to hit you with a shovel. It will hit me with a shovel. Yep. And now, <laughs> Kurivar is up. Alright. Let's step into the room here. And, uh... I guess I'll shoot a glob of acid at the zombie that's in uh, combat with Bogol. That's and not going anywhere. Nope, that will miss. You have singed part of the floor. And Getty is up. Alright. Oh yeah, he's up to my health a bit. I'm down to here now. Alright, Getty crit. He crit doesn't mean anything anymore. Yeah, sadly they're undead. Oh, all these crits Damn. and nothing to do, to do with them. Luckily or... that will be enough to kill it. Hmm. Pripyat, you are up. All right. There we go. That should take care of business. Yep, that is enough. You have killed all of the Zambies. And at this point, um, unless you guys are interested in six shovels, uh, I will detail the rest of the room. Go right ahead, good DM. Oh, uh, that's not the set of maps. That is. Well, oh. off this way, it appears there's a mine track leading or mine cart track leading around. It appears to go this way, dip down a little bit, and then come back up. And this way, it appears to be some sort of a hallway, or a little mine shaft. At this point, it is fairly well mined. It's starting to look less like a mine and more like some sort of worked stone labyrinth. Um, this is probably not the most active floor of the mine. Um, that would probably be a little bit further down, but overall it appears that there's a, a fair amount here. You could continue on the path, or you could follow the uh, the minecart track. Wait, 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 wait. Is there a cart by the minecart track? That is a good question. Is is the mine shaft somewhat at incline? Um, not really. So it has some flashback to the old. Uh, my current levels of Donkey Kong. I'm like, I want to do that. I want to do that so bad right now. Uh, there is an ore cart here, and it does appear to have uh, about 150 pounds of silver ore in it. So... About that ore, guys. Wait, wait, you said ore? Yep, ore. So not bars. Nope, not bars. So it's worth less, but it's still worth money. Let's save it for later. Well, we're saving all the silver for later, aren't we? Well, right, but at least the silver before was in, like, actual somewhat off the side hidden locations where we could almost guarantee that they would be kept safe. Well, hidden. I don't... As long as we kill everything we see, we shouldn't have to worry about that. I was saying, if this card something to attract, it could potentially go somewhere. And what's cool is we can use my skeletons for manual labor. Ooh! Never mind. I was gonna suggest moving off the track, but don't, don't forget, I can't wait to play war. Well, you do have two paths to go down. Um, at this point, I would like to request one of the remaining nine health potions. Yeah. Anybody mm. mind tossing one of those? I would assume. I just mine. Yeah, I would assume you guys would just split the remaining ones okay. between everyone who has. So everyone has three. Yep. Okay. Maybe we can the if Josh joins later. Um. 
All right, and heals for how much? Uh, 1d8 plus 1. Mm, have a troll. I'll take it. I really hate how Max do PDFs. No. Why is that? It's I really hate so how fucking <laughs> slow and choppy. Really? I've never... I gotta be honest, I've never had a problem with the preview tool in mine. Yeah, it's practically... Like, trying to scroll is impossible. Huh. Can't say I've had that experience. I wonder uh, what's going on. No oh idea. Okay, I'm just above 50% health now. Oh, well, that's good. This thing, once we have actual money, I think one of the first things I want to invest in is a wand of pure light wounds. Those are generally very useful. So they're pretty cheap for 50 uses. Yep. Low level scroll or low level wands and scrolls are generally very cheap. Yeah, very good. Very good, very good stuff. <coughs> All right, so at this point, we should figure out what we're going. Yep. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Get a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Out oh, goes by. Oh, yeah. All right, it's not that one. It's this one. Okay. Let's go take stop. All right. I'll take the hazard. We could split the party up. That always works well. That totally always works well not. Then I would get to do something interesting and do round by round movement. Uh, which would make things even slower. Yeah, no. apparently there's bestial domains in this book. I see. In corruption domain. I should probably go first because I'm the stone sensor. Yep. Uh, uh, uh. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's the mine shaft. This is what it, or this is what the mine cart track ducks under. Okay. Uh, your stone senses aren't tingling at it all. I could know. I just realized I messed up on my. <laughs> well, I'm just going to assume I'm going ahead of the team. The team can move on because I just have to update my character a little bit because I realized I put skill points where I didn't want them to go. By accident. Okay. Yeah, those skill points right there. I don't need those. This floor is terribly, terribly designed from a gameplay standpoint. There are five rooms in it, and the rest of it is wandering hallway labyrinth. There. Uh, I forgot to put to put my points in the search instead of other things. Uh, I, remember, I kept on failing that. Well, not failing that, but I kept going surprisingly low rolls. I remember last time. Nah. Trying to prove that. All right, there we go. So I'm uh, max rank now in the search. Okay. So na da da da, na da da da. I hope it's hard following me. Na da da da, na da da. Oh, there's a split in the world. Yep. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What are we doing? Team, we need executive decision. What's going on? So. I figured we'd go south first, but then before we change rooms, we got to another fork in the road. Well, keeping this... This dungeon doesn't make any sense. I think the closest room would be this one. But we don't know about that one yet. We don't know about anything yet. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm at a fork up here, ahead. I took the first fork in the road. I got to another fork in the road. Should we go south or west? Oh, let's go west. Weast. This way. Weasty. Trucking, 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 trucking. Look at all these unnecessary hallways. I know, right? That's exactly how I feel, feel, and I had to draw the map. Oh, I found a door! Yes, you have. You have found an actual door. That's actually existing. Oh yeah, these are the good. Uh, so let's see here. 
Oh, you don't find any traps on the door. Who's going to put traps? Okay, so we try to open the door. And probably got to fail. I guess I'll be... Move silently, right? Yep. That's on the top seven. 24 to move silently when opening the door. Okay. Well, you haven't completely gotten there at the zombies' attentions, but this room, uh, this 25 foot by 25 foot room contains large piles of rock and silver ore laying on the ground. The noise that permeates the entire level seems to come from here. The sounds of picks and shovels cracking and breaking into rock walls never cease. What looks like four humans and two dwarfs sewing their tools against the ore, breaking it free from the wall. So basically they're mining? Yes, they are undead miners. In a mine shaft that's abandoned. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And for the purposes of the uh, surprise round, let me roll initiative. Oh, Pripyat, you are the first to act in this surprise round. It does appear Yay. you have them by surprise. Okay. I've uh, got... Laws I don't for. These look like... Well, these do look like pretty sturdy darn zombies, don't they? Not any more sturdy than any of the other zombies you've come across. I'm seeing one with 24 hit points. That's pretty sturdy. Oh, yeah. One of those probably has the wrong hit point value written on it. No? No, it doesn't. <coughs> Good God, you got maximum hit points, zombie. Good God. That's yeah. a pretty significant zombie. Yeah, yeah, it is. And if you could turn them and control them, that would be awesome. Yes, I uh, I need a replacement for Neil, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to turn Undead. Okay. Or Rebuke Undead, rather. Um, What's the role for that? It is 1d20 plus Charisma modifier. Wow. Fuck me. That's hilarious. Is there a minimum to this? <laughs> no, there isn't. You can have the the highest hit die undead you could possibly affect is zero. Well. Wow. Okay. Well, um, I guess my job here is done. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Go team. Uh, am I really next? Yes, you are. You know what? Can I delay my attack on the surprise round to after Pripyat? Oh, and after Pripyat in the actual round? Oh. I just wanted to know what Pripyat was going to do first, and then, because I don't want to get surrounded first by going in head first. Nah. I was uh, going that... to attempt to rebuke Undead, and I wanted to control at least one zombie. You wanted to do a lot of stuff, but now look at you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, whatever. I'll just go to the left here, I guess. And okay. Hit this guy. Alright. That will hit. And that... Or almost nothing. That's still a reasonable amount. Well, because uh, it probably took 17 last time to kill him. Alex is up. Part of that crossbow. Oh, why would I use my crossbow at this, instead? This dude here. Okay. That will hit. <coughs> Do a reasonable amount of damage. Perivar. All right. Well, I will move into the room and. Uh, I guess I will fire an acid splash or an acid splatter at uh, the zombie in the middle. This one? Yep. Okay. That will sadly miss. Oh, wait. wait, hold on. Back. That actually might not miss. What is your deck score, zombie? 
That does not miss. That's comedic. Wow. All right. Ten okay. points. That's <laughs> damage. Noted. Uh, Getty, and then we will begin the actual combat round. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can end up there. Okay. And the actual round begin. Actual round begins. The one that you uh, hit, Greg, will attempt to hit you with a shovel. Missing horribly. I'm noticing a running theme here. And this one back here will move up and also attempt to hit you with a shovel. Yay! Go Team Terrible Undead! Uh, Pripyat, you are up. You can attempt to turn again, if you would like. Yeah, I'm going to try that one last time. If this doesn't work, i got another trick on my sleeve. There we go. Okay. Uh, now, 2d6 plus Cleric level plus Charisma. Plus four. See, I added a point to my Charisma, so I don't have any minuses now. It's wonderful. Yep. Okay. Hold on. Ah, uh, let's see. It's like I'm doing Psychic Scream in the middle of Warsong Gulch. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Um, which one do you want to control? Because you will get oh. one of them. This one with the big HPs. Okay. And I only gotta figure out that's 11 total. Okay. So that will also destroy four of the other ones. And this isn't even a spell, this is just an ability, right? Yep. Okay. Alright, this one is under your control. Uh, I will tell he was the one that acted first. How and much HP does he have? Uh, 24, 24 total. Yep. Uh, and the the last one, the one that took the brunt of the acid splash, is going to die horribly this round. Uh, because Bogolf is up. Do these two remaining guys have any damage on them already? Um, the remaining guy that's on your team uh, does not. The remaining guy who is not on your team has horrible amounts of damage from... The, the acid splash, so. Uh, is that, alright, so which one is the one that has that splash all over him? This one. This is okay. the one you want to kill. Okay, sweet. Sup, buddy. What you doing? Oh, Can't you know, you dying. That will hit. <laughs> and that will kill it. Stabby, you stabby, 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 stabby. You have killed the monsters. Well, except for one. one. Yeah, except for one, but he's on your te team now. How long? Until uh, Pripyat decides to no longer keep him on your team. Okay, sweet. What are we going to name this one? Or are we going to name him after our fallen, our fallen friend? Who? Oh, Neil? Yeah. No one cares about him. Oh. At this point, where to? You can't, you can't just throw away your friends like that. Actually, as a necromancer, you can. Yeah, all my friends are disposable. All your friends are dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it, another fork in the road. Did we search this room, or is there nothing to search? There's nothing to search. There's okay. trace amounts of ore, but nothing, like, reasonable. Do you feel like being a miner to get the remaining stuff? Well, that's because they're tucked up in this room right here. If you want to make money as a miner, you got to work the shaft. <laughs> uh, I should have seen that coming. Uh, I should have too. All right, well, which way? South again. Let's see here. Okay, uh, it's south, <laughs> evens east. South. 
Okay. Hi. To the door over here, Mike. Yep. Sixteenth of traps. You do not find it. Eight to try to open quietly, which means I'm doing very noisily. If you I do not find it. any traps, and within this twenty foot by fifteen foot room seems to be or seems to be very large amounts of broken rock and unassembled body parts. Large open metal grate is attached to the floor near the east wall with a ladder leading into the darkness. And Wait. not to the Star Trek movie. That's unsettling. Wait. Did the description dimensions actually fit the room for a change? I toned it so it did. Oh, okay. I have been doing that because the descriptions are all twice as big as the room are. So nice. I just half the description size. That's lovely. Um, hmm. But this appears to be the way down. Oh, so we accidentally found the way down after only clearing one of the other rooms. Two of the other rooms. Yeah, two. technically two. Oh, right. Skull. Yeah, I got a skull. It. There we go. There's a skull. So, what do you guys want to do? We could just skip down the thing, or we could clear up this floor to see if there's any more silver to be found. Uh, how much you guys want to get paid? Wait, what? I see, you're going with MST3K references. <laughs> At least he's it not Roll sense. Fizzle Beef. Oh, Crud Bone Meal's a good zombie name. Yeah. Big, make large, oh. huge. <laughs> Dirk, make hard meat. Crunch, beef chest. Slick, squat thrust. <laughs> ah! I'm glad we got, all, got that out of the way. Roll fizzle beef. <sighs> I am. So what now, Mike? Oh, well, we can wander this labyrinth. Alright, I said that. So what's the decision? I say we finish checking this floor out. I will save you the efforts of wandering through the labyrinth. Which of the rooms do you want to go to first? Oh, um, what's there's a room? Oh, there's this one, and there's this one. Let's do this one. Okay. It's tiny and looks right, so this is really a lot of rooms, more just big hallways. This floor was terribly designed. The person who made this wanted to wanted whoever was drawing this map to hate them. Clearly. Alright. I'm assuming you're going to search the door for traps and try and open it silently? Wait, I don't know where we are right now. You will be up here. Oh. Yeah, I do that. Okay. Because I have better do it clearly with my time. Okay, you do not find any traps, and you open the door very silently. The door to this 20 foot by 10 foot room is not locked. Guttering torches rest in ancient sconces and provide light or little light to illuminate the numerous boxes, crates, and barrels that are stacked around the room. Eager looking shadows play and dance across the walls from this light. Uh, but yep, there Search are crates. The Alright. Wait for the search. Uh, there are six crates filled with shovels, eight boxes of light picks, two boxes of heavy picks, uh, numerous barrels of lamp oil. Uh, there's, other than that though, there's nothing of value, except for um. a hole and chute that leads up to a previous floor. It's about 50 foot inclined, and probably not that helpful right now. Could uh, I grab some of that lamp oil, like a large quantity of that lamp oil, and give it to my zombie? Should be able to. Awesome. He's now... I'm just going to lather him up like baby oil. Ah, you're going to be the jackass during the zombie uh, zombie apocalypse that lights the zombies on fire to make it more interesting for everyone? 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, this zombie is now desi my designated uh, my designated fireboat. He's carrying a barrel of lamp oil, and he's relatively covered in the lamp oil. Now, at least you're not the one that gives them helmets. That guy's the real jackass during the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. What do you mean headshots don't work? S someone put helmets on them! Who would do this? <laughs> They're Nazis. They're all in SS uniforms with the old World War One helmets. Alright, Helsing. Yeah. We are Nazis! If I remembered enough of the Major's I Like War speech, I would start delivering it now. But I don't remember that much of it. But there is one room remaining. And how do you want to enter? Through the mine tracks? Or through the actual mine shaft? Mine tracks, mine tracks, mine tracks, mine tracks. Let's do the mine tracks. Whee! Sounds good. We, like, wheel ourselves in a mine cart. Yeah. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. My zombies can push us, because there's one for each. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just get a personal zombie pusher. <laughs> Everyone aboard the cart ride. Yeah. Oh. I guess we sort of like zigzag around a lot before we finally get over here. Yep. Also, this is the one you would be coming in through. Oh. I'm going to move the wizard over. Well, there's no door for me to check now, though. Hmm? This door. It wasn't the hallway, though. Do I see anything over here? Yes, you do. This 20-foot by 25-foot chamber is filled with the walking dead. Of the five oh. walking corpses in this room, three appear to have once been human miners, and the other two appear to have been dwarfs. These undead are shoveling or ox and ore into mining carts located by by the tracks that leave through the south <laughs> wall. Yeah, you, you roll in next to them. A single desk and cot take up the northern or northeastern corner of the room. A small gnomish male sits behind the desk, spectacles slid down to the tip of his nose. He looks up at your entrance. So I have visitors. You must be indeed be stalwart adventurers to make it this far through Lawrence's goblins and lycanthropes. But that is little of little consequence to me. I am prepared to make an offer or to make you an offer in exchange for your lives and damage to my property. You see, if I am to battle with you and you destroy my zombies as he nods towards the five walking dead near the south wall, I will have no one to dig out the rich veins of ore here. That would definitely be troubling in, or troublesome in my business dealings. The gnome gets up from behind the desk and cracks his dirty knuckles smiling broadly, broadly. I offer you this. Give me all your magic spells and items. In exchange for these, I will allow you to continue on your quest to rid these mines of the vermins infesting them. Are we agreed? You wish to be given all of our spells. Would you like to reconsider the wording that you used? <laughs> oh, and you put it like that. I don't like what we're walking into here. Like, I have an idea what we're walking into here. You're encountering Sorcellos, crazed master necromancer. Band schools include necromancy and illusion. Greatest necromancer ever. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good necromancer. Yep. Well... He appears to be waiting. Don't we need initiative? Yes, give me a second. Okay, that's a very gracious assumption. Let me roll initiative. There. Yeah. Good lord. Gnome, you have failed miserably. With your, he has a plus five to initiative and is going almost dead last in the initiative. <laughs> what? Uh, Getty is up first. Oh. 
Now, because we haven't acted, I can actually run through people, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Getty runs up and attempts to take care of business. Okay. I need to find his deck score, because that probably hits him. Yes, that will hit him. You have hit the gnome. And I will note that from his experience... Er, yeah, from his experience point. <coughs> I will also note that, because he's about to lose a lot of them, but... Uh, Pripyat, you are up. Can I try to turn on dead again, but not control him? Just him. Yeah, no, if you end up with... Uh, too many that you can't control, they just are destroyed instead. Oh. Um... Like one. Um... Actually... Let's see, that's a six. Uh, you can... Well, you can affect these, so 1d20 plus your cleric level plus charisma modifier. It's a 2d6, I mean, not 1d20. 2d6 plus... That's more than enough, actually. You have put them all into awe, and they will attempt to uh, flee uh, as soon as their turn comes around. Alex is up. He's going to crossbow... Can he crossbow this guy from here? Um... Or if he moves over here? Yeah, he would have to move over there, but he could that from there. Alright. That will hit, and do three points of damage. Impressive. Most impressive. That zombie out is up that has to flee, or attempt to flee. Uh, that's the most expeditious and e or doable path. And that is for them. Uh, your skeleton will get an, or Getty will get an attack of opportunity against that zombie, if you would like it. Hello. Hmm. Furious typing. I know. Uh, Dan, your skeleton will get an attack of opportunity if you you would like to have him take it. Dad, my boy. Yeah, but what I'm wondering is if would that break their um, rebuke? Um, actually, I need to check. I think it. Uh, I think well, I don't think it's per se, but they're allowed to. They're allowed uh, to yes, it would it. break it. Oh, I don't. I don't want to do it. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, crud bone meal. Crud lurches into battle. This is macro. Shovel. That... The zombies cannot hit with shovels. They are <coughs> very terrible zombies. Bogolf, you're <laughs> up. There are many ways for you to sneak attack this poor defenseless gnome. Uh, I plan to do that. Just that. Okay. So the first thing I shall do is attempt to attack him. That will hit. And I'm assuming since I'm flanking, I get the uh, sneak damage? Uh, yes, you will. Alright, so first I will do my normal damage. Okay. And then I'll do my sneak damage. So that's 14. He lets out a horrible gurgle as he falls to the ground. And at this point... Ah, I got you now! These zombies all lose animation. Or at least these ones do. And become a horrible blur of red and yellow. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping to give him some of my spells. <laughs> ah. I, searched the, I searched the body. Alright, I will send to you what he has uh, in the group chat. And I believe this will be it for this episode. So I w we will all be back for another episode. See you guys then. Ah, ha, ha.